Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After and welcome back to another Tablescape. So today, my best friend Rachel is visiting and she is going to help me with the Tablescape for Halloween because as you know, the girl is not a Halloween girly. Um, I'm not even really a fall girly, but I saw this thing on Facebook that said some girlies are Halloween girlies and some are fall and I'm way more fall than Halloween. But I don't think Halloween or fall is your like favorite holiday, but you're way more of a fall person than I am. More fall than Halloween for sure. Yeah. So Rachel is a green, blue, orange, like yes. autumn kind of color scheme person. Whereas I am more blues and pinks. So this is going to be fun. Um, I don't have a lot of Halloween themed uh, plates. I was showing her all my plates that I've collected since she's been here last, which was like two, three years ago. I've gone to visit her a lot the last couple years. And apparently I don't have any Halloween themed plates or salad plates. I have Christmas, Easter, winter, mermaid, peach, like all kinds of random summer stuff. I'm way more of a summer kind of themed. So I made this sign recently and it says welcome to the patch welcome to our patch and it has a resin pumpkin on it that I made and have this tray that I made a year or two ago I've done a lot with this SVG it's a cute little cheetah print pumpkin and they go together and they're kind of this like rose gold kind of look copper look and then I used a iridescent orange and so there's a little bit of orange in there and we decided, I don't know how much Rachel decided, I kind of decided. <laughs> Rachel and my friendship is great because I make a lot of decisions and Rachel thinks they're awesome. It's great, I don't have to make decisions. Rachel doesn't like decisions <laughs> and I do. And so I'm always checking with her, is this an okay decision? It's great. She tells me no when they're bad. It's a great friendship. <laughs> But we decided to do something I've been thinking about for a long time, which is using an SVG to cut out some removable vinyl and add them to our dinner plates to make Halloween plates. So I've done removable vinyl on wine glasses. You can even hand wash them a few times. I wouldn't put your vinyl in the dishwasher, a lot like with tumblers. It's just not going to last, but it is food safe. And as long as you're not putting soupy things, Rachel was concerned about soup, um, what, I don't know why you'd serve soup on a dinner plate. Well, gravy's more. I don't eat gravy. And it's not a problem. It's not a problem at my house. <laughs> <laughs> These are going to be fine. I think they'd be really good for like a luncheon when you're eating sandwiches or chips or little finger food kind of things. Um, so we're going to do a whole tablescape around our cheetah print pumpkin SVG idea. And I don't really know where it's gonna take us, but we're excited. So I'm gonna hang this up on the wall right behind us so it will work with our table. And then we will see, we're not quite sure if this is actually gonna make it on the table or if we're just gonna use it to help serve stuff. But I think the first thing we're gonna try is the plates we're using are gray. Um, and so, we're gonna use this guy and see if it's too much. We're worried that the pattern might be too busy. So we're gonna really build this table kind of as we go and kind of go from there. But the tray and the uh, pumpkin SVG slash resin are kind of our main inspiration that we're gonna tie things back to. So let's go ahead and get the chargers and the plates on the table. I think those are the only things we're sure of and then we'll go from there. We did pull out a whole bunch of like decorative stuff that we may try, but I'm not sure, like we have a bunch of pumpkins. I'm not sure if any of those will end up on the table. And we, we're gonna need a centerpiece of some kind. So maybe a cake stand would help. Yeah, that work. Let's start with the plates and then work our way out. We're doing the silver. Yeah. So, 
you guys want to see the plates. Here they are. Dun -da -da -da. So you can see they have that cheetah print SVG. I filmed an entire video on how to cut this with your Cricut while Rachel was washing her hair. So look for that. <laughs> so this is interesting because I normally set the table uh, two plates, two plates, and Rachel has set them in the corners because this is actually where the chairs are. This is where we've been sitting to eat at the table but it's not normally how I set it for pretty tables. So I want to try it and see what it looks like. Okay. The whole point for me, I don't know if the whole point for, <laughs> the whole point for Rachel is she's been roped into this. The whole point of having Rachel help me with some of these is I want to see what a different point of view is with setting the table and using like my stuff because I tend to do things the same way every time and that may not be the best way. It's always interesting to try a different way to see what other people do. And I might end up liking this better. I don't know. So, do you like the table runner or do you think it's too much? I don't like it, actually. I like it. I think we'll have a better idea once we add a centerpiece. So, yeah, we can always take it off again. Yeah. There's always options. I like it so far, though. For the centerpiece, do you want to use a cake stand or do you just want to do shorter things we have that galvanized one that might work and we have the one that was on the table for the fourth of july the like more rustic -y one but i don't know that this is more rustic let's try the galvanized one okay let's see let's see if it so that. I like it. We might have to use the copper flatware so we don't go too silver. I think so. But we have, unfortunately, this pumpkin is probably the best size. Yeah, that is a good size. But it's kind of the wrong color. And got this one which is probably the best color but I think we would have to like add some other stuff and I don't know what I think this one is just giant <laughs> that one's a little overpowering a little overpowering he's cute that okay, it's cute one. I think we might put him like over here yeah so I think we should lean towards this one. He's not, I mean, he's not copper, but with all the copper, I think he'll just look more neutral. He leans more pink with pinks. Yeah, it's not a really strong pink though. No, he's like champagne. Yeah. So, I mean, then we can add some of these pumpkins, like, you know, down here somehow. So, what cups do you need, Rachel? I guess. Um, we have the blue one. Blue. We have clear, which is holographic, which is probably not good. Um, we have the copper mules. I don't know if that would be too much copper. Let's Did you try those. I think this might be fun. Just to see. Yeah. I've never used them on a table skate, but they're very fall. Yeah. Do we need those and cups? I do. I think it's a People use them a lot for like Moscow mules and stuff mm -hmm. and like alcoholic drinks, which I do not drink. So I put water and Diet Coke in them. Most people who come over here for lunch don't drink a lot. Even if they do drink, it's more of a Occasional thing. You might need to be careful.
What do you think? Is it your favorite Halloween table you ever did? It is. I like it. It's always interesting to try different things. Well, I like that it's, it's still Halloween colors, but it's not the... It's not like bright orange and green. Yeah, which is not really my thing. Yeah. It's not my thing either. This is more subtle. And it would be very easy to transition into fall with a few less pumpkins. And a few more acorns. Yep. All right, y'all, I'm going to bring y'all in for a close up look because the dogs are ready to get out of their uh, entire backyard and play <laughs> in the house. <laughs> and we will see y'all in the next video. Rachel's here for a little while, so we're going to do a couple tables over the next couple weeks. And uh, y'all will probably see them sooner or later. Bye. All right, so here is a close up shot. I just said I like those acorns, but I meant I like the squirrels. <laughs> They're, they are a good amount of white, which was good. Hopefully we would have more black, but you know, can't have everything. So we did kind of work on a little bit of designing. You can see the SVG little vinyl pumpkin. I think that turned out super cute. And then we added a napkin to our galvanized stand. We added those little squirrel. These are salt and pepper shakers. How cute are those? And then some pine cones. I think it turned out really cute. Hope you guys liked this video. We'll see y'all in the next one.